The report I'm going to build will analyze various statistics around the destination airport that my airline flights are arriving at. So I'll go to my destination airport table and if you notice there are a couple of fields here which have this special indicator and this one is telling me this is my default image this one is telling me this is my default label these are really important in a card view particularly the default label that's what card view will use in order to title at the top so I'll begin this report by just clicking that default label and I'll get this long list of airports I really don't want to look at every airport uh, no matter how big or small so I am going to do a little bit of background filtering here to choose just the major hubs and I'm really only interested in analyzing data for my major carriers or my major airlines so I'll put that in the background as well and then one more background filter I'm gonna add is the year this data set has all flights from 2008 to 2011 really I just want to look at 2011 so I'll use the filter here I kind of like just the advanced mode when I'm gonna pick one thing so I'll say is type in 2011 and that will give me some background filtering just to limit what I have on my report so back to the card view we'll start with a regular table like this one and if I click on the design ribbon I can choose card and what card will do is it will automatically take whatever my default label is and put that in this nice title heading font so I have all of those and what I can do is just then add the additional fields that I want so when I click the image URL that has put in the uh, image of that city into the uh, layout from there I can just choose whichever other fields I want so maybe I like my airport code and the ATC region that would be the region of the country and then from my flight table which is where my flight statistics are first I'll choose my on-time flight percentage I always am interested in that also flight count and then I can just keep choosing whichever fields I want so maybe I'll choose the average delay time to taxi in once a plane lands on the on the ground how long does it take to get to the gate uh, how about the average age of aircraft landing at these airports the average age of the aircraft that are landing at the airports with the percentage of flights that are early and then we'll round this out with just some various statistics around ATC delays carry delays late aircraft delays um, some of these are probably more relevant to the to the departure airport but at least having these in here will give you a, an idea of what this card view looks like so what we've done really quickly is made a very nice kind of layout for this and I'm going to use the entire screen space available to display that and now if I scroll through I can see statistics for each airport I'll do one more thing with this and that's to choose a field to title this by and the title by will always add a kind of a slicer to the top of the card view and what I'll choose is my airline logo drop that in and that will give me a really nice view I'm going to put this into reading mode so you can see it a little bit better and now I can see the same statistics but I can slice it by airline so if I look at Hawaiian Hawaiian Airlines has an average of 70% on time into the Honolulu Airport um, only 46% into LAX Southwest you know, US Air flies a lot of East Coast routes including Baltimore and Charlotte so they have a lot of flights into Charlotte not as many into Baltimore so that's our card view we can see that's pretty simple to set up and we can make a very compelling and nice view that we can review a lot of different statistics on and the nice thing about card view is it just makes something that's very beautifully organized and titled and styled with very very little effort on our part